It's not often you get offered the opportunity to drive something up the historic Goodwood Hill, but today we're going to be doing just that. And not in any old car either, we're going to be driving this. It's Lexus's new hypercar, the LFA. No one else has driven it in the UK yet. It's got 4.8 litre V10, 560 horsepower, do 200 mile an hour, although I doubt we'll be doing that today. Oh, and I've been told it's the only example in Europe. So no pressure then. Okay, so here we go. I've just been told by my co-pilot that uh, we don't have enough helmets for both of us, so I'm actually gonna be going up the hill all on my own, which is no bad thing. We're actually the last car in our batch to head up the hill. Everyone else has gone, so all eyes are on us at this moment. Seatbelt on. Adrenaline's really pumping at this point. And away we go. Thumbs up for the cameraman, Freddy. And you'll see that I reached to turn the traction control off in a minute. There we go. Onto the start line. Waiting for the starter. First gear. And we're away. If you look in the background, you can see the spoiler popping up automatically. That's supposed to happen at 85 miles an hour, so you can imagine just how quick this car is. I've actually turned the traction control back on now for the first bend. And accelerating out of it. The jerkiness you see there is uh, obviously my lack of finesse in the accelerator. It also just shows how sharp the throttle is in the sport mode. We've gone past the Goodwood house now. And we're coming up to the second bend, the left-hander. Unfortunately, it's from here that the clerks of the course have set a 40 mile an hour speed limit just for the Goodwood press day today. So you might have noticed my pace has dropped a bit. Obviously, I'm trying my best to stick to the limit, but it was such an amazing engine. It's pretty hard not to floor the throttle now and again. There's the famous flint wall that you're told to avoid at all costs, especially in a car like this when there's only one example in Europe. It's not actually as narrow as you think it is going through there. It would have, would have been nice to go through with a bit more pace. But um, there's only a handful of marshals up at this top end of the course. One or two of them. So as you can see, I'm waiting for them to go past and then giving the car a go. You'll see when I change gear on full throttle, the ferocity of the gear change really throws me forward in the seat. It's a real mechanical, physical gear change. And we're just approaching the end of the course now. There's a big, long straight here, some very undulating ups and downs, dips, dips and uh, crests, which I can imagine at full throttle in a car this quick there's a good chance you could actually get some air. And there we are into the paddock at the end of the run. So there it is. I made it to the top of the hill in one piece, but more importantly, so did the car. It was a fantastic experience. It's just like a racing car. That engine, when it hits 9,000 RPM, is absolutely unbelievable. The only downside, it was all over too quickly. But, in summary, fantastic car and what an experience.